Can architects solve global warming by any chance? Can we as architects collaboratively use our problem solving techniques and our design thinking methodologies to reverse the global warming? What are the most effective ways of tackling global warming? And how this architect called Carlo Ratti with his team at the MIT University is planning to tackle the climate change in a completely different way. Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. My name is Amir and I'm a London-based part two architect. And in this video, I want to tell you all about a very interesting approach of tackling global warming, which researchers at the Sensible City Lab at the MIT University are developing. And how architecture as a methodology can be spotted in their work. I am also going to introduce you to the work of the architect Carlo Rotti, who is leading this project and also doing lots of different things with great impacts applied to different contexts that architects usually aren't meant to do in a traditional environment of the industry. So we all know that global warming is a serious, serious threat, not only to humanity, but to the life on earth. And we as architects who are responsible for a certain amount of global carbon emissions have been trying hard in the past few years to come up with different solutions of tackling global warming. We started to use less concrete and instead invested in developing new materials made using natural resources like cross laminated timber or CLT with lesser carbon footprints. We became concerned about our building's carbon footprint and looked into carbon neutral or even better carbon negative solutions for designing and building our built environment. We felt the need for rewilding our cities and urban contexts as we realized that natural ecosystems are disappearing, taking with them the biodiversity that supports life on Earth. We set the passive hazard standards for our building's energy performance to ensure that our buildings don't waste any energy and use it efficiently to function. We developed the notion of reversible architecture where we ensure that the entire building can be decommissioned at the end of its life and its components reused, meaning no components go to waste. We started to care more about our building's irreversible damages to the planet and looked into ways of designing architecture in a non-extractive manner. We considered using biomimicry as an approach that emulates natural systems such as coral reefs to help combat climate change. We developed an architecture approach in designing structures that have positive impact on the environment called regenerative architecture. We also realized that our current buildings needed an upgrade to become efficient and more sustainable in terms of their energy use as well as lasting longer. So we started to retrofit by prioritizing the improvement of existing building stock over demolition. And we established climate action groups addressing the impact of the built environment on the planet like architects declare to raise awareness and share knowledge about climate change. Yes, we have done all of that, but that's just not enough. It's really hard to believe that even if all of these practices were adopted by every single architect, contractor and developer, we would still have to cut down emissions in other major industries too. We would still need to replace fossil fuels with renewable energy, cut down our meat consumption and decrease industry emissions in large extent and in total cut all of our emissions by 45% until 2050. Obviously that is a huge goal and it requires a global collaboration between all countries to reach that. So that's why some researchers and scientists are thinking of other ways of tackling global warming, such as geoengineering approaches that are not earthbound, as they think it might be our only solution to the problem without risking our living ecosystem. For example, researchers at the Sensible City Lab at the MIT University proposed an interesting intervention called the space bubbles, which aim to deflect 1.8% of the incident solar radiation before it hits our planet, meaning it could fully reverse today's global warming. The Sensible City Lab at the MIT University is a digital lab within MIT's City Design and Development Group and was founded by architect Carlo Ratti in 2004. Its mission statement says that it seeks to creatively intervene and investigate the interface between people, technologies, and the city. The lab's work draws on diverse fields such as urban planning, architecture, design, engineering, 
computer science and economics to capture the multidisciplinary nature of urban problems and deliver research and application that empowers citizens to make choices to make a better livable urban experience. Carlos' latest project at the MIT's Sensible City Lab, which is called Space Bubbles, is a collaboration between scientists and designers from architecture, civil and mechanical engineering, physics and material science, which is producing an innovative solution that is deployable and fully reversible, building on the work of Roger Angels, who first proposed using thin reflective films in outer space. The project proposes floating a raft made of frozen bubbles at the point between the Earth and the Sun where their gravitational pulls cancel out. The bubbles, however, would be made of a thin film material and manufactured in space, where when interconnected, they would cover an area roughly the size of Brazil between the Earth and the Sun. Although the project is very promising, at the same time, it can lead to continuing the mass destruction of the planet by humans, as we no longer have to worry about our carbon emissions and taking care of the environment. That's why the team stresses that the space bubble proposal was designed to supplement and not replace the current climate change mitigation efforts, but that the day may come when such interventions become essential. Carlo Ratti himself, however, who is the project lead of the space bubble project and the founder of Sensible City Design Lab, as well as his architecture and design studio Carlo Ratti Associati is a highly influential figure as an architect by training and also a change maker and a visionary thinker and designer. Forbes listed him as one of the names you should know in 2011 and Blueprint magazine included him as one of the 25 people who will change architecture and design. Looking at his work and different projects that he has led so far, we can see two important approaches in almost all of his projects. Carlos' work are always visionary, multidisciplinary, and collaborative in terms of how experts from different disciplines work together to deliver them. Again, he shows how architecture can be used as a methodology to tackle the major challenges of the world today and also give nuances to the practice of architecture in the current times. I hope you have enjoyed watching the video and if you did, don't forget to like the video as well as subscribing to the channel. It would definitely help this video to reach more people. I hope you have a great rest of the day and see you in the next video.